What's up guys, it's your boy Mark Prime 100 here with a new Transformers Studio Series review. Finally, after waiting so long, I finally got a chance to own the, uh, my very first left foot figure. The new Transformers Studio Series number 68, the Lust Class from Dark of the Moon, left foot with steel block. So we're going to take a look at this package and then we're going to take a look at him himself. So for the package, as you can see, it's a full awesome view of his CGI picture right there. Shows he's number 16 from Talk of the Moon. Turn around, here's a full view of his face. Looking pretty awesome. The back of it, you can see him as an awesome armor car with his in his robot mode and then steel jaw, which I figured that we never got to see in the movie, but happy they included him in the in the studio series line. He's licensed as you see by NASCAR and everyone else. And then St. Patrick was the other records like Robust and Topspin. Topspin, I do not own it. I will get them soon. And then turn around the package. There's a full view of him and his awesome chunky role mode. Yeah, this is it for the packaging. And now let's take a look at closer at Lifford himself. So yes, here is Studio Series Lifford with Steel Jaw. I'm going to say wow. Just wow. We get to get him a little more um, better accurate mode for his in from the better acronym of how he looks in the movie. His original forms, original figures, did not really look accurate as the movie. They look almost, but they have they were missing some parts or there was parts that didn't really look well. I never got a chance to own the original left figure because he was never sold in the US only and I think in Asia or something. If you go check out that Prime vs. Prime video where he talks about how he got the original one, you can see that where he was never in the US A or anywhere else. I've been I found the original left foot figure on eBay but he's up or the price for him is up to a hundred and up. The also there was a also a human alliance. But that one looked like how Robust look when it's deluxe from the original. Old Karma, but when he's transformed into Roma, he looks more, kind of more better. And he and Steel Jaw that he came with can transform into an engine or something. That's what I heard. But I never got to own any left foot figures. So this one, this one here, the Studio Series, is my first left foot I ever own in my Transformers collection. I have to get a look here. Um, Bring up Rockjaw right here. He looks pretty amazing. It's, that's like that he doesn't transform into anything. I wish he was able to transform into a weapon or something, but he doesn't really move. I wish he didn't move at least his, his legs. But now, other than that, it looks pretty amazing. I like the nice detail that him. You can see a little bit of blue on his eyes right there. Here's like his smoke propellers. I think he brought. He was probably to transform into the engine, but. I guess there's a reason why they didn't do it, but Lockjaw looks pretty amazing. I, I did not know that Hasbro was gonna include this with left foot. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> He's so cute though. <laughs> I do love the nice detail and everything. Wish I would add some silver to his teeth, but other than that, Steel Jaw looks pretty amazing. I put his Steel Jaw on the side now. Let's take a closer look at left foot himself. Wow. Look at all the nice detail. Then. That's what Taraka Tommy did to give us a more accurate look at left foot. Wow. His chest, his, well not his chest, his stomach looks pretty awesome. But as you can see in the, in the, right here in the side of the package, just move out a little bit. He, his chest is like, tra mis tra more transformed. And they didn't really do it because you can see the tires right here in the middle almost in this part, which is transformed. But I thought that they could at least do that. And then the doors here don't have the 42 sign, which kind of sucks too. Because I know in the the original Bigfoot figure from the Dark of the Moon had the 42 here on this on the on the doors, but this one didn't include many stickers. I could probably buy some stickers that look accurate, but. I could do that at least. Let's see if that works. 
But this one here looks amazing. He is a good size for Deluxe Clan. If you want to make a more accurate size comparison when you convert him to Robuster or any other Autobot, you can just bend his knees like that and you have him more than that. Because if you have him tall, probably won't look as accurate as in the movie, but I like to keep him like this. So the detail for him, just small. The detail looks pretty amazing. He comes with this little minigun right here, which I really love. I do prefer the minigun that the original figure came with because it was more bigger than this and better detail. It does come with these two other guns that look like probably AK-47s, I think. The bullets hanging out. He did also come with missiles. These are really hard to put on. I'll show that later on in the, in the review how I put them, but they will be hard to put back on, so I'll do my best. So yeah, Robo Mode looks pretty amazing. Like the detail, like the red on it. This kind of grayish, brownish color. This I kind of like it. I don't like it as much. Here's a, another 42, but it's in the back like this. So it sucks that they should have added right here in the windows. The, no ones. The doors, my bad. To look more bet, accurate to to the movie and stuff. But yeah, his chat, his stomach mode looks pretty awesome. You can lift this part up. Somewhat. I don't want to move anything because I don't want these missiles coming out. But yeah, I do like his head sculpt. Head sculpt, pretty amazing. Looks like he had a silver beard. Do like the glass shades on him. Looks pretty amazing. I wish they would have painted the, this part also silver, like how the original was, original figure was. But they did their best to give us a better accurate mode of left foot. So I give them the best. So, for one, couple things about his role mode is his legs. Like, what's going on here? I wish there was a way you could transform this part and plug it in back here somewhat, but they didn't. I was able to give it some other, some more silver paint right here or something to look better. But it's all red. The only paint you can see is right here on the feet and the tires. This is records, ultra records. This is a NASCAR symbol right there. Yeah, they, they could have some silver paint job right here or something, but they didn't. Another thing is, um, missiles, why would you put them right here? They're like really hard to put on. If you try to put put it on together, they fall off, and, and then sometimes you can lose the pieces or something. Um, these guns do stick really well unless you use force, because when I first Transform him. These gonna be keep coming off in this raw mode. His vehicle mode is pretty stays well, which is a good thing. These window the doors, my bad, I keep saying windows, do not really stick well in the in these tabs. They keep coming off. But I'm not trying to use force because if I do, the missile will come out. I'll show you what I mean and later on in the review. His mini gun stays well perfect, looks pretty amazing. For movement, he can his hands like this, you can do a 360, you can bend his arm like that, his fist can go like that or like that, see, now his gun fell, yeah. be extra careful because these weapons are really tiny and you losing them as you can get a new left of here, so the, you're playing that, and then his legs can, can kind of do the 360 if you wanted to, but I'm not trying to like move it too much because it can break. And you'll get another one's really rare to find now these days. Now that he's already been out for almost two weeks already. Because now he's selling like crazy on eBay and on any other apps that people sell him on. It's very crazy how they sell him from 40 bucks and up. It's crazy. And that's why the only way you can get him cheap is at Target when he comes out. I, I saw two Liffles that day. I got this one. I got two. There was there was two of them. So I just got one of them. So yeah. I do love the nice detail to that and him. So like the head scope looks pretty amazing. Just the parts that bother me are the feet. The missiles going right here. And um, just like more probably more silver paint. Like how they use for the beard. But other than that, I do love his one. He looks pretty amazing. So yeah, role mode, I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, because it's 
just some parts that need to be either painted and then some, some parts need to be fixed or something but I really do enjoy the feeling. Now let's get a lift to transform into his awesome armor race car. Oh, but before I do that I'm going to do size comparison with some of the figures. So, putting it on the side. I'm going to bring out Bumblebee 2007. The scale works fine here because I think Bumble was kind of taller than the other one, which is pretty good. Now we're bringing out Sentinel Prime. See, he is much smaller, but he looks more accurate, at, like in the movie. Nice scale between these two, it's pretty amazing. Now we're going to bring out Ultimate Prime. See, the scale between these two, Ultimate and Lefo, look pretty amazing. Now for for what I like to do most is the records. We're gonna bring out Robuster, the first record that we ever got for Studio Series. And these two look amazing. I already got two out of the records, just need one more top spin. I'm waiting for him to release in store soon. I've been I tried to get him online, like on eBay or Mercury, but people it's already selling the new figures like the deluxe they sell for almost 30 and up Voyager I understand is like if they sell for 40 that's fine but but like 16 up that's crazy well leader class is only over with them but now I already have him in my collection but yeah but toss been selling him for almost 30 40 bucks that's crazy like come on people selling a deluxe class for almost 30 40 bucks you're selling him almost if he was a if there were like a Voyager or a, or a leader class, that's crazy. That's one thing I don't like about people when they sell their sell either figures they found already and they try to sell them. Like, that's crazy. I tried to buy this top one up for, for almost 30 and it's gonna cost me um, for 20 something and it's gonna cost them 30 plus shipping. It's like crazy. So, the best thing I recommend for you guys to do if you guys want to. Just wait until they release in stores at your local Target Walmart. Because if you try to buy my line right now, it'll be kind of expensive. But yeah, on to the review. Robuster and Left Foot here. Be pretty amazing. First, I got him, and now I have Left Foot finally. Been waiting so long ever since they announced that they were going to make a Left Foot. And of course, it was going to be a Target exclusive. Just like his Human Alliance was he was also a human and a target exclusive which was pretty hard to find which I heard from a lot of people who have the human alliance or who don't who heard the stories about it. But the scale between robust and Liffel works really amazing. Just so happy to almost have completed the whole records. Just one more and then I'll be done with the records. So moving our Robuster out of the way now let's get Put into his awesome race car armored load. So what you can do is take off the guns, put them on the side, take out his mini gun, lift these parts out so you can take out the missiles. See, they just pop out easy, but put them back on is really hard. So before I continue the transformation, what I like to do is put the missiles is connect them first like this. See the stay, but yeah, try to lift this part up and then they kind of see they stay on like that so what I'm gonna do is put in lifting this part out and then putting the missiles like this see they will eventually come out but then you can just put hold two fingers like this so and then pull these the arms back a little bit just do not use too so much force or you will break the hands you can do it like that and then they'll stay on nicely yeah, it'll be kind of difficult at first, but then you get used to it. So now, okay, now we're gonna turn this in. What you do first is this, put the hand out. Now towards these, now you're gonna turn all the way down, and you're gonna have something like this. Now what you do is, and the knees like that. You either could have to connect it already or just wait till later, but I'd rather just have it like this for now. Now you can come up to the backpack and just lift the, the smoke propellers or 
brackets or whatever they, they ends. And then you turn this part like this. Make sure you connect them, close the hand so it could be something like this. Put the same process. Yeah, something like this. and see if I'm doing it right or not. Okay, now you just, hold on. I got untap right here. Okay, be really careful because you don't want to break left foot. Then you can just bring the chest, the stomach, and just push it down to this. Now we're gonna come to this part. Before you tap that in the hands, you gotta make sure you tap this part in. Be small tabs so where you can connect it like this, and then you have the back part ready. Now, here you get ready to do this part out, and then you're gonna connect to that tab right there. You have something like this. Now, just connect it back to the up here, and then you have. This part ready. Now I'll repeat the same process. It does get kind of tricky at first, but then you get used to it with the transformation. It's not really that hard. It's just some parts really keep moving a lot. Now you're gonna do just bring this up. Make sure everything's tab and good. So you won't have to have it loose or anything. And there is left foot right there. And it's awesome. Armored. Race car mode. Now for the weapons. You put it right here. Put the mini gun right there. There's two guns. We'll go in these tabs right here. This one's kind of loose. I don't know why it keeps coming off. It's weird. Hmm. It's weird how it's... It'll keep coming out, but it'll be fine. I will use super glue, but I don't want to leave it stuck because I will need it for the hands. Oh, great. Now mine I'm not going in. It's staying on put good now. They're really loose. Um... Well, this sucks. I'll see if I can do it this way at least. Nope, they keep coming off. So I'm just gonna leave this on the side for now. Because I don't know why they keep coming off. It's kind of um I mean, you're gonna put the missiles. I'm gonna bring them. See, like this? No. Just like this. Or like this. Oh, these misses are trying to get them in. <laughs> okay. Then tap it in right or something. I think they're like this. I'm not sure. I gotta look at the cart for the box right now. Um, I'm not sure if I did it right. Let me just double check. Hmm, this is kind of weird. Oops, sorry, my hand's in the way. Hmm, I wonder why they're not going in. By now, I should be having these in by now. I think they go like this. I hope. Well, I guess my my copy of his weapon his missiles are not really going in either. Hmm. Okay, I think they go to these. Let's try to fix this one. All right, there you go. There's the missiles, but 
I'm not sure why the guns are not really staying this time. Like, they keep getting loose or something. It's weird. At first, when I first transformed, it was fine, but now like, they're like really loose. I'll just work out of this. But here is Left for Hero with his weapons on him. Looks pretty amazing. Look at, look at that. Just do those the nice weapons that um, like I said, for his car mode, I have no complaints. Just the weapons are like, I don't know if it's my copy with the weapons, but they're just really loose and everything. Um, they keep moving. These were never moving at first, but now they're moving all of a sudden. So it's kind of weird, but other than that, look, see, they keep going off. I'm just going to leave them off for now. No, no, the missiles. I think the tabs and the missiles and guns are. I don't know exactly where. I'll try to figure out something. But yeah, as you can see, here's definitely this awesome armor car. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna transform Robuster and show him the size comparison, a comparison with, and they're both awesome armor car boots. So here is. Now Robuster and Leffel. Look at them both. Look awesome, man. Ready to destroy any Decepticons I get in the way. You can tell that by the size without the gun. That probably Leffel is more bigger than Robuster. I wish the guns could stay on so I could do. So they could both look armor up, but the guns are not being good now <laughs> but as you can see both of them look amazing set view back tether both ready to destroy any Decepticons or or shoot at shockwave like in the movie in the scene <laughs> wow just really happy that I finally added left foot my very first left foot figure into my collection Wow, it just looks pretty amazing. I'm removing Robuster out of the way. I'm gonna transform left foot back into his robot mode. And then conclude and review and let you guys know what I think about the Studio Series left foot. So just take off his minigun. What we're gonna do now is untap this part. It's gonna be kind of tricky. Hard, but just make sure you lose this part out and that arm just come out easy like that just move on the backpack hold it in the lace can stay like that do something like this now the now you just fold on top the bring this part out put the wings out the doors I mean, keep saying wings or windows. See, I'm just zoom out for you guys. Okay. Now we can do is be two tabs right here. We'll, we'll connect to these two. There you go. And I will show you how I will connect the missiles to his chest. So just bring the missiles over here. Oh no, wait, the other one goes over here. So see, make sure the top, th this tab goes in first. And there you go. Kind of hard because the these doors can come in forward. Yeah, there you go. And then what you do, like I said, bring it down. See how one comes off. You don't have them both holding, so it's gonna be kind of tricky. I'll do my best to get in, get it for you guys. See, they keep coming out. That's one thing I don't like how they did with these missiles. 
Wish I would have added somewhere else, but I guess it looked more accurate to the movie. And just pull these out. And there you go, there's the missiles well in so the team coming out. No, oh, they're gonna come out. I guess the thing that it turned on. Oh. But you guys now you guys know how to do it. You can do it my way or you do it whatever you way or lead them off. It's up to you. But I like leaving them on because they are small parts and they can be you can lose them and it'll be hard to replace them. But they just keep coming off, which is really annoying. Just find them. Oh, they're under my tripod. I wish they could at least make sure that they're not loose, these tabs the weapons what was there now I got them better okay now let's just hopefully the guns stay on the arms at least but it wants to aroma mode see when the Roma mode they put them in the hand to stay well, but in the car mode, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the tabs or the where the holes are clicking. This one kind of is loose. So you gotta, oh, it went out perfectly. So yeah, here, here's my review on my Transformers Studio Series Target Exclusive, Dark of the Moon, Left Foot Dead, that's class. The rating I give Left Foot here is a 8 out of 10. The reason why is eight is because just the feet, more better, kind of added more silver paint job to it. On um, the guns tabs don't really stick in well. They are loose in car mode, but in vehicle, not in car in this race car mode, but in this road mode they tab in well. His missiles I do not. There's another thing I don't like where they tab right there by the by the stomach almost. Yeah, the stomach. And they like there has to be a way you try to keep them on. That's like you can use my way or you can do it whichever way you want. But my way I think is more easier for me to keep the missiles on. But other than that, I really do love, love the figure. I'm happy to have Adam into my collection. My series series collection. Can't wait to get Tossman and Wave 10 figures coming out soon. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this my review on that foot. Make sure you like and subscribe to and subscribe to my channel. I am Arpro and I'll see you guys on the next Transformers Studio Series review. To all a one. Autobots transform and roll out. Peace guys.